Phoenix, Arizona, February 9th, 1886. Dear Sister Clara, I will write to inform you of my whereabouts and so that I can hear from you all again. I have been down here for a week, stopped in Los Angeles a couple of days on the way down, and was in San Francisco a week before coming down here. The weather in California up till the time I left was mostly wet dis disagreeable. The weather here is mild and pleasant. I was in hopes that the change would be good for my health. My health is reasonably good, but the miserable living in this country gives me a touch of dyspepsia. I have not done any business since I wrote last, and business has been so slack at Stockton that I shut up shop to save expense. It is too dead a place to offer much encouragement. I thought some of getting some land down here, but have not yet seen any chance that I would accept. I have the photographic apparatus with me, and you can expect to see some more views before long. I hope you will write what you thought of the other ones. I took a picture yesterday of the insane asylum in its present unfinished condition. And with a group consisting of the governor, commissioners, contractors, high sheriff. I took quite a number of views at Yuma, the hottest place in the U.S., and expect to take many more of interest on my trip. I also took some in San Francisco and Stockton. I expect to go from here in a day or two to Tucson and El Paso, Texas, where I will look for a letter if you write as soon as you get this. I took a ride on horseback a couple days ago, and it lamed me up so all over that I have not got over it yet. This country is settled about equally by whites, Indians, and Mexicans. The whites are of all nationalities, and the Mexican greasers, as they are called, appear to be of no nationality at all. They are not much, if any more, civilized than the Indians. I see by the papers what terrible cold weather you have had. I have escaped all that and have only experienced considerable rain, which was not cold. Hoping to hear from you and that this may find you all well. I remain yours truly, W.C. Costello. And this was the last letter he wrote, apparently. Winfield arrived home, and, and penciled note on the letterhead, Winfield arrived home in April and died May 25th on his birthday.